It's good to be with you again. I always look forward to these visits, and I'm sorry that it's one-sided. But I'm always glad, too, when some of you, in personal conversations or email or whatever, let me know that uh, we are carrying on a conversation. It's just that I don't get to hear from you as often as you get to hear from me. I've been thinking these days about a parable that is probably one of the three or four most familiar parables uh, that our Lord left with us. It's not quite as great to us as the story of the prodigal son, but it's a special, special kind of parable because it has so much to do with how you and I will feel about sharing our faith, whether in individual conversation or in preaching or teaching or through the ministry of a given congregation. I'm speaking of the parable of the sower, that story that Jesus gives us of the person who goes out to sow the grain and to sow the seed and the kind of result he gets then from that sowing. You'll remember that some of it falls in such an area uh, that the birds of the air eat it before it ever has a chance to find any kind of uh, place of settling in. Others that settle on shallow ground where it springs up quickly, but the ground is so shallow that just as quickly it dies away. Still other of the seed falls in good ground, but ground where weeds take over. And after a while, that good seed is snuffed out by the weeds that grow around it and consume the area. And then at last, the seed that falls on the soil where it brings forth 160 or 30 fold. It's a wonderful story. You want to notice especially this, that the seed is always the same. The seed, that is, is always good. It's the seed of the truth of the gospel. It is the seed of the life that exists for us in Jesus Christ. So too, the sower is doing his or her job. They're distributing the seed. Now, they sowed seed differently in that world than we do in ours. They literally threw it over an area and did not put it in little trenches or little special places for it to grow. They threw it, as we might say, broadcast. And therefore, it fell on different kinds of soil. But that's the whole point of the story. In one sense, that is, always when we give the truth of Christ, we do it broadcast. We share it without discrimination. We don't say, if we're true to our Lord, I'm going to decide who's worthy of getting this message. We give it to everyone. But some of it, therefore, a lot of it, therefore, doesn't produce in the measure we think it should. Some people would say in response to that, we ought to be more careful how we share it. But on the other hand, if you've been around a while, you know well enough that you can't always predict where the good soil is, that sometimes what we think is a dull or uninterested or indeed even a resentful soil, they still respond and are redeemed by it. But I come back to the major point. The seed is the same. The sowing is the same. It's the soil that makes the difference. Well, what does that mean for you and me? It means, for one thing, that in our personal relationships, those times when we try to share faith with other people, we shouldn't condemn ourselves if our efforts seem at any given time to be a failure. The seed is good. The truth is real. We're doing what we can. But we can't control the soil. The soil has a, a mind, so to speak, a, a, a soul, a, an outlook of its own. We can't control that. So too with a church. Sometimes we hear these great, great stories of churches that seem to just spring up overnight and to thrive and grow in magnificent fashion, while another effort struggles along, never has the same level of accomplishment, not even remotely so. That isn't necessarily the failure of the church or its clergy, its workers. It may be the condition of the soil. And the soil varies from time to time. Sometimes an individual, sometimes a community 
that seems dull to the gospel becomes alive to it at another time. All of which encourages me to say to you, our job is to take the seed, the good truth of our Lord Christ, and to sow it gladly, freely, indiscriminately, and then after that, to leave it to God. God is the judge, and God in the end knows, and we should do our best simply to do our part. That's what I'm thinking about today, and with that I say, God bless you, God be with you.